everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to today's interactive read aloud. All right, my friends, today I have the sweetest story for you about making friends and about sharing happiness. I know that a lot of you might be starting the school year and making friends can be a little bit hard, right? Well, in this story, we're going to meet a little fox. And Fox is going to have a hard time making some friends too, but then Fox is going to figure out a special way, a great way to make friends by sharing something really special. So I am very excited to read about this book, my friends. And my friends, what do you think you need to do? What's important to do to make friends? Right, there's a lot of different ways to make friends. And in this story, we're gonna learn a special way too. Before we begin, I wanna share with you a few little buddies that I have with me here today. <gasps> Taking a look back here, I have, oh, right up here, I have my friend Fox and Raccoon. They're so super cute, my little stuffy buddies. And if you notice on the cover of my book, there is a Fox and Raccoon, and here they are. My friends, if you have a stuffy buddy that you want to bring to this interactive read aloud, Go ahead and get them because this book has lots of cute little critters in it. And it's always fun to read along with a stuffy buddy. If you have a fox or raccoon, that'd be great too, or any of your favorite stuffy buddies. So go ahead and pause if you want to. And then if you've grabbed your stuffy buddy, give them a little snuggle and then cuddle up and get ready for our story. Fox and Raccoon are going to listen along back here behind me to their little story about them and friendship. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends, give me a double thumbs up if you are ready to get started. Excellent, let's begin. So the title of today's interactive read aloud is Happy Love Sprinkles, <gasps> written by Maria Di Costanzo and Kim Messina and illustrated by Alexandra Schmidt. So that means that there are two authors to this story, two people who wrote the book because I see two names after the written by and then Alexandra Schmidt drew all the illustrations, the pictures. And if I look at this cover here, what do you notice, my friends? Right, I see some cute animals, right? Fox and raccoon, like our little buddies back here. And I also see, oh, a bird. And what is this right here, do you see? A little tiny sprout or a leaf. And what are they doing? like they have a magical jar here that says happy love sprinkles so this jar of happy love sprinkles hmm, floating up <gasps> raccoon's got a cupcake yummy my friends i also have with me my <gasps> magical wand to share with you some happy love sprinkles and magic as we read this story okay so i think we are ready to get started and find out what these happy love sprinkles are Huh, what do you think Happy Love Sprinkles do or even taste? Like? Hmm, good idea. Let's find out. So here is the title page of our book, which means it has the title of our story, Happy Love Sprinkles, our authors and illustrator, and who published it, Moon Crumble Publishing. Oh, wow, my friends, you're going to notice some beautiful pictures and settings, backgrounds in this story. Let's see what's going on. At the edge of the forest, in the brush by the creek, like a little waterway, lay a hole in the ground, home to a fox, rather meek. Meek, my friends, means gentle and quiet. Lonely little critter, always a teardrop in his eye. He hadn't many friends, for he was just a tad too shy. So shy means we might have a little of a hard time speaking to new people. How does little critter feel right now? He's got a tear in his eye. Looks pretty sad because he doesn't have any friends. Mr. Moon, Mr. Moon, said Critter softly with a sigh. My, you look so happy with all your stars and fireflies. Even Moon has friends. I wish I could smile like you so big and bright. If only I had a friend, then maybe I just might. So what does Fox need to smile? <coughs> a friend. Friends make you smile a lot, huh? I wonder, how can Fox make a friend? If he's feeling a little shy, how can he make a friend? Yeah, maybe just... Try starting off saying just small things like, hello, how are you? Oh, if I take a look at this picture here, I see something happening. What is this, my friends? Ah, uh, 
magical fairy doll. Mr. Moon uncurled a beam from his perch in the sky, a beam of light, down which slid a fairy, holding a box twice her size. She landed with a smile and placed the box on the floor. With a curtsy, a little bow, and a wave. Can you give a fairy wave? <gasps> she said, be sad nevermore. Don't be sad anymore. <gasps> what do you think is in this box, my friends? Whatever is in this box, the fairy said you won't be sad anymore. What do you think is in it? Maybe a friend? Cricket tore off the cover with his eyes open wide. <gasps> But his heart felt heavy when no friend was inside. Instead lay a jar tied with ribbons and twine, filled with colorful crystals. Ooh, oh my, how they shine. Pretty. A sparkling array of bright rainbow twinkles with a label that read, Happy Love Sprinkles. So these are the happy love sprinkles given to him by the moon from a fairy. I wonder what these happy little sprinkles do. What do you think they do? Maybe you sprinkle them and they make a friend. Well, Critter was charmed by the beautiful gift. He felt good about it. With curious eyes, he gave it a lift. And twining the glass was a braided gold rope. So surrounding the glass was his rope. Attached was a card and it came with a note. Oh, let's see what it says. Maybe it gives directions. When you feel down and you need a little love, think of a smile or a warm fuzzy hug. My friends, can you give yourself a warm fuzzy hug? Or maybe if you have your stuffy buddy, give it a warm fuzzy hug. Awesome. Dream of sunrise on a midsummer day. Then let the sprinkles melt your blues away. So these sprinkles will help make your sadness go away. Wonder how though. Well, we're just gonna give it a try. Critter pulled out the cork and was hit with a blast. Ooh, a warm, magical wind swirled around him quite fast. It carried with it sprinkles so high, a colorful trail that lit up the sky. I don't know about you, my friends, but I am hearing a lot of rhyming words, words that sound the same at the end. High and sky. Look at those sprinkles floating in the sky. Hmm. Then the wind took off with sprinkles in tow. Critter chased after them, skipping below. Gleeful and giddy, so feeling so happy, he darted about until the wind died down and led him to... <gasps> Where do you think this wind and sprinkles led him to? Maybe a friend? Oh. Led him to... Oh, wait a minute, do you see? Led him to... Sprout. Oh. Sprout was hunched over beneath giant trees. <gasps> Look how tiny Sprout is, huh? Can you hunch down like little Sprout? <laughs> he was little and wilted, a misfit he seemed. Why so glum? Critter asked with a pant. Because <gasps> he's been running. <gasps> he's panting, my friends. Can you pant and you breathe kind of fast? <gasps> Why so glum? Why so sad? Critter asked with a pant. Cause I'm teeny. I'm twerpy. I'm barely a plant. So this little sprout isn't happy because he's so small. Mm. So what's Critter going to do about it? Do you think Critter's sharing some of the happy love sprinkles? Sharing some happiness? Then Critter knew just what to do. He tore out the cork and... All the sprinkles flew. They swirled a brown sprout who pulled himself tall. My friends sit up tall like Sprout. He uncurled his leaves. He wasn't that small. The plant did a waltz, then a tap and a jig. Oh, the plant's dancing, my friends. Can you do a happy dance like a plant? <sighs> I'm so very happy, so happy. I'm big. He danced and he danced. He no longer seemed blue. Want to chase the wind, Critter asked. Oh, yes, said Sprout. I certainly do. So how does Sprout feel now? <coughs> so much happier, right? The sprinkles made him stand up tall and throw his leaves. And now he feels happy. That was nice of Critter to share. So now they're going to chase the wind together again. Eek! Squeak! Oh, what do you see going on in this picture? Hmm. They followed the rainbow of colors up high. They giggled with joy as they reached for the sky. They entered a meadow, or this 
place with lots of grass and heard a strange squeak, squeak, squeak. Then the wind died down and it led them to, oh, what do you think it's going to lead them to next? Making a squeak, squeak sound. And maybe I see a hint over here what animal it could be. What animal lives in these? A bird It led them to <laughs> The sad little songbird was struggling to talk. Forgive me, she said with an odd sounding squawk. Oh, my friends, can you make a weird bird sound? Uh oh. I can't cheep or chirp, let alone sing. Sweet sounds to the meadow I'll never bring, says this bird peep. Squeak! Eek! Eek! So she thinks she can't make very pretty sounds. Hmm, my friends, can you try? Can you make a beautiful bird sound? Ooh, that's a nice sound. But Peep's having a hard time and feeling not so good about it. So what does Critter do to help out Peep? Is he sharing his happy love sprinkles again? Then Critter knew just what to do. He tore out the cork and all the sprinkles flew. They swept up the bird in a colorful cloud, then twisted and tumbled and twirled her around. Oh, my friends, can you spin and twist and tumble around? Oh. Peep gasped in delight. What a wonderful thing. Then a beautiful melody she started to sing. Oh, oh. Make a beautiful song, my friends, just like Peep. Can I hear your beautiful bird song? Beautiful. So those happy little sprinkles made Peep feel. How does Peep feel now? <laughs> Happier, singing her beautiful song. Then the sprinkles took off on a warm summer breeze. Below them, the trio pursued through the trees. So they're chasing them through the trees. Ooh. They chased them past rivers and mountains and lakes until the wind died down and it led them to... <gasps> What's this over here, my friends? Let's get this little clue. Whose tail is this? What animal? It might be raccoon, and I'm gonna grab a little ah, raccoon buddy. And this raccoon's name is Cakes. Oh, what a lovely name! I like cakes, my friends. Do you like cake? <laughs> and look at oh my, look what cakes has with them lots of cakes. This sad little fellow was gobbling up sweets when he caught them staring, he hid all the treats. Hmm. Stop looking at me that way, he exclaimed. I'm fluffy, not chubby. He looked quite ashamed. Oh, so he thinks he might be a little chubby because he's eating a lot of cakes, but he's just fluffy. Hmm. Hi, friends, is there anything wrong looking with this raccoon? <coughs> he looks just cute and fluffy like raccoons are supposed to. Plus, cakes are super yummy. Cakes slunk away sadly, but Critter cried, wait. Why, <gasps> what is Critter going to do? Here's some happy love sprinkles. We all love your mask and your striped tail is great. Hmm. The raccoon puffed up proudly. He no longer seemed hurt. Why, thanks everyone. Would you like some dessert? Oh, so Cakes is gonna share some of his cakes, my friends. Would you want some dessert? Sprout started to dance and Peep did sing. Critter opened the sprinkles and they did their thing. Cakes grabbed a mushroom and began to drum loud. It wasn't too long before they gathered a crowd. So now they're kind of making music, right? Sprout is dancing. Can you dance like Sprout? Peep is singing. Can you make a beautiful song, a bird song? And Cakes is drumming on a mushroom. Can you pretend to drum? Let's see. Hear that tapping? I'm just banging my table like a drum. Cool, huh? And look at all the animals coming to join them, my friends. What animals do you see joining them? So many different animals. I see deer, ducks, owls up here, oh, a bear, squirrels. Deer came trotting and bears lumbered by. Owls observed from the branches up high. Opossums crept closer and ducks left their lakes. Squirrels sprang from hollows and in slithered snakes. Do you see the snake? Oh, let's see. Where is the snake? Where is the snake, my friends? Hmm, somewhere on here, huh? Slithering in. Critter watched the woodland party abloom. Then he slipped away to think Mr. Moon. Why do you think he's going to thank Mr. Moon? What did Mr. Moon help make happen? Hmm. The 
sprinkles worked like a charm, Critter cried. I now have friends in warm fuzzies inside. When you feel happy, my friends, do you get warm fuzzies too? But that's not the work of the sprinkles, said the moon. It was that you shared them and gave part of you. So the happy little sprinkles didn't do magic. It's because he shared them that he made friends, right? If he kept his happy little sprinkles in the jar to himself, would, would he have made as many friends? No, right? Because his friends would still be sad. But he shared his sprinkles and happiness. Critter's heart glowed brightly. He knew just what to do. What is he going to do next? You think he's going to share some happy little sprinkles with Moon? Oh, Critter is so kind. He pulled out the cork and back to the moon, they all flew. Oh, so he's giving the happy little sprinkles back to Moon. Hmm. Because does he need them anymore? He has his friends and he realized, you know what, to make friends, I just have to share my happiness and my love. <gasps> the end, right? Fox didn't need those sprinkles anymore. He knew how to make friends and he realized, I had it in me all along. Sharing happiness and sharing a part of me is what makes friends. Oh, and here, my friends, it gives us some directions of how you can make your own special jar of happy little sprinkles and spread the sprinkles around, too. So if you want to get a jar, put some colorful sprinkles in, and then maybe share them with friends and spread some happiness, that's a great idea to share some happy love sprinkles. Oh, what a sweet story, my friends, of friendship, of sharing, of happiness, and some really beautiful illustrations, right? What was one of your favorite parts of this story? Yes, I loved all the different times we got to dance and interact with the book. I got to dance with Sprout. I got to sing with Peep. I got to bang the drums with Cakes. And I really loved how they all became friends because Fox was so kind in sharing. Sharing helped him make friends. He had something really special, but he didn't keep it to himself, right? Mm -mm. He shared it and let his friends have some of the happiness and beautiful sprinkles too. That is a great thing for friends to do. My friends, what are some things that you share with your friends? Yeah, those are great things to share. And I bet, how does your friend feel when you share your things with them? I bet they're happy. How do you feel when your friends share things with you? Happy, right? Friends share things with each other because it does make them feel happier. They share, they you can maybe share toys or food or snacks or you just share part of you. You share your time that you're spending with them or a smile or a hug. All those great things to share. All right, my friends, well, I hope you enjoyed reading Happy Love Sprinkles with me and our buddies, Cakes and Critter, right here. And I hope this book reminds you to go out and share some Happy Love Sprinkles. I hope you get to go do that today. Go ahead, before we leave, my friends, who is one person you're going to go share some Happy Love Sprinkles with today? <laughs> right, and how are you going to share some happiness with them? What could you do to make them happy? Share some happiness. Great idea. Sounds like you have a plan to share some love and kindness and happiness with some friends today. Excellent. All right, my friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's interactive read aloud. Thank you so much for reading along with me. My friends, did you enjoy today's story time? Please be sure to subscribe to my story, the YouTube channel, by clicking on that subscribe button down below to keep up with all of our reading adventures. And if you do share some happy life sprinkles today, I'd love to hear about them. So please reach out to me. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube, on the blog. All the social media links can be found down below. I love hearing how you are spreading kindness and happiness. <laughs> okay, my friends, that brings us to the end of today's interactive read aloud. So. Until next time, I hope you have some happy love sprinkles in your life and happy reading.